What are we looking at here? This diorama shows the crucial moments in the Battle of Chinook Bear where Malone and the Wellington Battalion had taken the trenches from the Turks and captured the top of the hill. That hill was essential for the campaign because by taking that ridge line, the Turks could no longer see into the landing zones. They, uh, we'd taken the crest of the hill so we could start preparing for any further offences that were going on. But it was difficult terrain. The Turks had huge number of superiorities. And because we're being on that crest line, um, our supporting artillery fire couldn't cover over the crest. And so Malone really was alone in defending the hilltop against the massive Turkish attacks. This is the moment that was New Zealand was probably in the very centre of the, the world's attention. I was going to say, it's such a huge part of our Gallipoli story, isn't it? Mm. This, this battle. It is, uh, and Chinook Bear is probably more our day uh, than Anzac Day is because this was the crucial battle that um, we did a miracle of, uh, of arms in capturing the hill. We held it for um, about a day and a half uh, against amazing odds um, and eventually uh, the Turks were able to push the Allied forces off uh, and recapture the hill. And that was really the, the end of our ability to, um, to dominate the, the landings and to protect ourselves. So it shows the scale, it shows the difficulty, it shows the heroism on all sides, the heroism on our side and the Turkish side. Uh, but it does show also the, um, the amazing feat of arms that they achieved. When you go and look at the diorama from a Turkish perspective and see the numbers, you get mm. to realise this probably was an impossible task that we were given, but we almost made it. So the uh, figures were sculpted in the UK uh, by people who had been involved with Peter Jackson before. But we got 143 painters around New Zealand, war gamers around New Zealand to contribute. So each painting somewhere between 20 and 60 figures, um, individually. Um, so uh, these little fellas are all hand painted? They're all hand painted, all lovingly painted. Um, and I think if we had uh, push these out for commercial painting. Yeah, that would have been a great diorama, but the fact that it's New Zealanders who have contributed to this, put their time and effort and resources into it, this makes it an amazing diorama. There's another little character I'm interested in, this guy here, pulling yep. up some cable, some communication cable, isn't it? That's Cyril Bassett, the first of our Victoria Cross winners of the First World War. He, his job was to ensure the communications uh, by laying telephone line between the brigade headquarters and Malone's headquarters. Constantly he'd go back and forward up the hill, under, under fire, enemy fire, yeah. uh, laying that cable. And uh, recognition of that bravery to keep the communications going, he was the first of our Victoria Cross. Any idea how many hours have gone into creating this? Well, certainly we've only been able to achieve this in three months, but uh, yeah, for those painters, they've probably put in a thousand hours each. On a lighter note, who's this little guy up here? Ah. <laughs> Yes, that's, uh, there are a couple of special character figures in that one, but that bald guy over there, I don't know, apparently he's some senior officer who was around at a time.